Hey guys, this is Alfred George Shark, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a free file browser for your Android phone by Lonely Cat Games called Explore File Browser. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so here we have the Explore icon itself. You can see tapping on the icon itself will jump it straight us into the application. So the first views we have here is this top left button right here, which when you tap on, as you can see, it just continues to take you back and back and back. This menu right here takes you into the different folders you have and different things you can actually view. This right here is send a beer to developer, essentially donating, as you can see. Uh, and this is the menu button where we can take a look at the about screen, uh, we can exit the application, and then we have three different type of setting menu. We have configuration, which is where you can check and uncheck, show hidden files, use own viewers, show media files, open APK as zip, full screen image viewer, alternative panel switch, full screen mode, and dark theme. Within this menu we also have the root access. As you can see tapping on it we can actually you know, diff, uh, enable root access features. We also have sort by extension where we can change right there. We can sort images by and we have different um, sortings right there. We have text coding. So this is for more advanced people jumping back and we have um, program password if we'd like to set a password for the application. Um, tapping menu again we have key shortcuts that we can actually configure as you can see tons of different options as you can see. Tapping menu again uh, we have configure buttons and this is kinda similar to the uh, shortcuts just with slightly different um, options up and down mainly being the main ones. Now within the application this is definitely not the most user friendly um, Explorer that I've seen. It has a little bit of a PC-esque feel to it and it's not the easiest thing to get used to. Um, I've been looking at it a little while and still not fully sure um, the full capabilities of this application because every time I think I have finished learning what this thing can do I find another feature. Anyways, so you can see right here tapping show, we can show hidden, we got web storage, show LAN, Picasa, and FTP. Tapping on FTP is just to show that if we'd like uncheck it and it, you can see it actually goes away. Go ahead and hit root and you can see all the files that are in the root of your phone. Um, we also have the SD card which includes everything that's on your SD card. Uh, you can see some different zip files and things that are actually on our SD card. Now if we tap on an APK as you can see it will take us right into installing the application. A nice little touch. Uh, and anyways, um, let's just jump into a folder here to show you the view. It'll just open up the folder. You can see the minus there and everything else that's underneath the folder. This is just to show you everything that's in the folder. You can grab this blue bar to scroll faster if you'd like. Quite a few files in that folder. Of course, we can close it up as well. Come to another folder. You can see how uh, it also gets a little bit different coloring uh, than the rest of the application. And when you actually open something, you have the news button. Uh, which is what is new. You also have the up directory. You can rename whatever you have. You can also copy whatever you have. You can change a folder into a zip. You can also delete what you're having, uh, what you're looking at, and then you have a new folder button as well. So this is where you can add something new. Uh, and then hitting that show button right there, as you can see, shows up the details about what you're actually looking at. Anyways, close and cross. You can see you have check marks here. You can actually multi-select right from the the same view you're already looking at to not have to dive into different menus which is nice. Tapping this menu button just opens up the regular menu button and really what this application is is really what the name just implies exploring your SD card in the root of your phone just taking a look at what you have uh, without having to use a computer to do so. Not the most user friendly user interface once again but definitely very in-depth application if you want to spend the time to get used to it this is one of the better explorers out there. So this application has over half a million downloads, but gets a 4.7 out of 5 star rating in the Google Play Store, which is a really good rating. Now, like you saw from the video, I actually don't like the user interface for the application. I think applications like Linda File Manager are a little bit cleaner, a little bit simple to use, and still have most of the features, if not all, that this application does. But this application has more of an expert feel, uh, which is why you feel like it has more of a learning curve to it, or maybe it's just me, I don't know. I do know that this application had a little bit more of a difficult user interface for me to get used to, and I think they could work on improving that. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Have a great day.